ndi bai ndi wono iya ne meta wo ono ogugo which is numbers in english language this nigerian mathematics tutor is using nigerian local languages to teach students the subject many consider tough to understand keka ige si be me ya no ge na di ha ya owo na enye gi nye di ka Cynthia Onwuchuruba Bright Chinule, a teacher in Port Harcourt, uses a language and mathematics skills to teach in Pidgin and Igbo, two popular languages in Nigeria. I'm just one of the my very early years. Um I found that I loved to teach I loved maths and loved to teach maths from uh, I think my SS2 So that made me develop more interest in it and I decided to study it in the university and for that for me that has been um my life like teaching maths from the uni I wanted to be involved in maths hold tutorials for students I did that right from my very first year in the university The first class mathematics graduate of Namdi Azikiwe University started teaching mathematics as an undergraduate holding home tutorials for students because of the fact i got to know my dad was a mathematician as well so i felt like oh maybe that's why i'm beginning to like math perhaps is in my blood although he didn't my dad didn't study math in the university he studied math in the secondary school level but he was so good that after his studies he kept coming back to the school to hold tutorial programs on math so that's how i got to know oh he was into the whole math thing you know and um so from from my university i just kind of still loving maths the more looking for ways to reach out to people using my skills in maths my knowledge in maths i still having insights and I, i keep looking at people i'm like this is so simple i mean you just need to do this you just need to do that i mean can't you see like i just started looking for simpler ways because i found that people couldn't see what i was saying her love for the subject considered tough by many began when she was in senior class 2 when a mathematics teacher showed her a simpler approach to solving equations so we were to work on a project with the kids at the potter court remand home which is like the juvenile home the juvenile prison so to speak so When we were to work on that project I was to teach mathematics we were three in the project I was to teach math another person was to teach um skills the entrepreneurial skills and the third person was to teach social behavioral change now when we got there we had our pre pre test we had our pre um our program questionnaires which was the pre program questionnaires to give out to people And when we got to the home there were over 40 students in the home between the, they were between the ages of 7 and 17. Now we found out that they couldn't even fill the pretest we gave to them. I mean the form as much as putting down their names. Let's say they were 42, we had our record then they were not up to 5 who could even fill out their name section, their age and everything correctly. Now how much more filling the other questions like how do you like maths you know and all those other questions you could even read or interpret those questions now i realized that coming to that same class to teach maths in english was just not going to work it was like failing the project or not being successful in the project from the word go we had to be strategized for me i had to go back and be strategize my uh, maths curriculum to fit in the use of indigenous languages which was um pidgin at that time in 2016 Cynthia adopted the use of igbo language and pidgin when she worked with a group of students who didn't understand english language she stated that it was important to use their local dialect to teach them in 2017 dr obonaya onu The Minister for Science and Technology announced that the government was planning to teach science, technology, engineering and mathematics subjects in indigenous languages. But not much has been heard or done since then. One of the major popular research was done in the Yoruba land where we had some students who were for example 
um, who were taught a subject using Yoruba language. So they had two groups of students. One group was taught a particular subject using Yoruba language, while another group was taught English language and then taught the subject in English. When the result was looked at at the end of the day, the highest success rate was recorded from the students who taught, who were taught using the Yoruba language. And that's because we can never uh, rule out the power the mother tongue has with regards to learning. Cynthia believes indigenous languages have a great role to play in teaching STEM subjects in Nigeria, especially mathematics. Since she started teaching mathematics, she has founded Maths Afrique International with the aim of enhancing the learning of mathematics using indigenous languages. Cynthia has also taken a mathematics lessons in the indigenous language to a global audience via video tutorials which have been viewed by many Nigerians around the world. I have videos in Igbo language, in, in Pidgin and then in English. So it doesn't mean, oh, if, you, if you're the type that understands perfectly in English that my channel is not really no. Once you go on YouTube and put in Cinematics or Mathematician, the videos pop up and you can watch the video in the language you prefer. So if you prefer English language, by all means watch the video in English. If you prefer Igbo language, by all means watch the one in Igbo. If you prefer Pidgin, and I think um, we should do more of that in other languages. Although it has been mentally challenging for her, the impact a method makes is worthwhile. So what does the future hold? So the plan for the future is someday, somewhere, somebody in power who has been looking for the possibility of having the indigenous language, who has been genuinely looking forward to that possibility of inculcating the indigenous language in academics, will see the content and we'll be able to explore ways to make that happen on a state level, on a national level, on a local government level. In Nigeria, I'm looking for the partnerships. I'm releasing my YouTube videos, as well as Facebook videos, as well as videos on other social media platforms to keep getting the word out there, to keep teaching people, to keep helping people see that if there's one more change happening, somehow there's going to be a ripple effect. So moving forward, my content, my games, and the trainings I'll be doing from my organization, which is Maths Africa International.